would like to do is tie a deep drop sword tuna chunk rig with the components that you see here and um, I will post those components on the site when I post uh, this vid so you have an idea of what to get or at least what I'm using and then you can take it from there obviously you're free to mix up whatever you want to do here it's just to give you an idea all right so let's get this started so I like to start at the end with the hook so we'll put a using a sleeve this time along with a stainless um, chafing tube and a 9 Mustad perfect circle I'll list the exact hook I'm using and uh, since this is a crimping sleeve we gotta crimp it up oh my bad we forgot to start every video off proper with the hi George so hi Georgie how you doing buddy sure you're doing real well all right so make sure that this is legit you're not gonna uh, jeopardize your leader line and uh, crimp it up So I'm in an unfinished basement, and I like to basically make my stuff manageable and not a crazy length. I will cut this you know, at a reasonable length, sealing the floor length of a unfinished basement. So it's tie on here now is some jewelry. I'll show you where I'm going with this. Alright, so first thing first is another crimp sleeve. Now this particular crimp sleeve is just to hold jewelry, so it's cosmetic stuff. Nothing to uh, be too worried about. Alright, so I have my measurements. This is a foot, two foot, three foot, and the table's four foot. Alright. So, I will secure this crimp to my rig. Once again, without jeopardizing the integrity of said rig. So there you have it. So what I'll put on here, glow beat, filed by a fish finder. Alright, so that's the first glow bead fish finder. And approximately 18 inches above that, I will do another. So we will add another. Finder. Right about there. Get that crimped on.
doesn't need to be uh, dialed in that much. I want to affect the strength of the line. So we're going to follow that up with the glow bead, second glow bead, and our second fish finder. And I'll show you what that looks like. The hook, glow bead fish finder, followed by a second glow bead fish finder. And I will show you what we're going to be connecting to those fish finders, which is going to be pretty cool. Got to, got to add some bling, man. Going for the swords. They like excitement. So, that's what we do. Alright, so we'll do another chafing tube. This is a, uh, oh, first I need my, crimp sleeve, another chafing tube. And this is a, uh, <coughs> ball bearing swivel, so this is a little fancier swivel than, uh, Roscoe barrels, because, it's going to be a crazy fish you're going to catch. Nice big one. So let's get that on there and crimp it up. stainless uh, crimp sleeve, or not crimp sleeve, stainless crimp sleeve, a stainless uh, chafing tube. So what we put on this, I know you've all been waiting, is uh, anything you want. I mean, I, I told you I was a fan of these cheap deep drops from, you know, eBay. So what I did is I strung uh, white, red, green, blue. All the colors that they come in um, and these things are pretty neat so once they hit the water you know they start giving off your colors um, so once uh, that thing lands so what I did is I zip tied them all together and put a um, barrel swivel on there so you know that might be the one that goes at your fish finder that meets uh, your uh, your swivel and your fishing line and maybe then you do singles um, single uh, deep drops on these um, fish finders either way put a piece of mackerel on there preferably a fresh squid that you just caught you netted caught Whatever you did, the fresher the better. Match the hatch, and uh, you're bagging a 75-pound yellowfin. Better yet, 200-pound uh, sword. Bring it over the rails. Whatever it is, it's game on, folks. So put this in its nice little package. That's how we do things. All professional like. And boom. You're off to the races. Got yourself a nice overnight deep drop. 9 0 hook. Again, I'll list the components. Strongly recommend these. Peace out. Hi, George.